Hi, my name is Dennis Zhilin. I'm an author of Trailer Mega Toolkit. This is a Premiere Pro tutorial. Also, you can buy an After Effects version. It includes more than 130 titles, including real 3D titles, and it's more flexible. You can customize all the possible controls to make your own unique style. Purchase link is in the description. Let's import titles. At first, you should install all the fonts that are mentioned in the description file that is supplied with the template. Then, if you want to install one title, go to Graphics, Install Motion Graphics Template. Go to Trailer Mega Toolkit folder, Trailer Mega Toolkit Titles, and choose the titles. All the papers in the world, for example. Now you have it in the Motion Graphics panel. If you want to import the whole folder, copy the Trailer Mega Toolkit Titles folder and go to C, Users, Your Username, App Data, Roaming, Adobe, Common, Essential Graphics, and paste it there. To install on Mac, your hard drive, library, application support, Adobe, Common, Essential Graphics. Then you can go to Essential Graphics panel. If you don't have it, go to Window, Essential Graphics. Open the Trailer Mega Toolkit folder and there you will have all the titles. To use the title, just drag and drop it on the timeline. It will take some time to load graphics. If your sequence is Full HD, go to Motion and set the scale to 50%, because the native resolution of the titles is 4K. When the title is loaded, go to Essential Graphics panel and customize it. Change the text, colors, position, etc. LUTs To use LUTs, go to Effects, find Limitary Color, drag it on your sequence. Go to Creative tab and select the custom LUT. Then go to Trailer Mega Toolkit folder, LUTs and pick any LUT. I will pick teal and orange. Creative tab is much better than basic, because you can control the intensity of your LUT. And also don't forget to adjust the temperature, highlights and shadows in the basic tab. This will help your image look really great. Light leaks. To use light leaks, go to project panel, right mouse button, import, follow to trailer mega toolkit folder, light leaks and choose the light leaks to your taste. Light leaks 1 and 2 are long and have a variation from subtle to very bright. They are great to use for the long parts of your videos. Hot and cold light leaks are shorter and brighter. It's great to use them for transitions. We'll go to Hot folder and choose the Light Leaks Hot 9. After we imported the light leak, drag and drop it above your footage. Then go to Effect Controls, Opacity, Blend Mode and set the Blend Mode to Screen. Grain. To use Grain, go to Project Panel, right mouse button, Import. Follow to Trailer Mega Toolkit folder, Grain and choose the Grain. Grain UHD is a clean 4K grain. Grain Dirty is the grain with rough dust and scratches. Drag it over your footage and set the Blend Mode to Screen. Control the intensity with the help of Opacity. To make the grain last longer, select the grain, go to the end and hit Ctrl V as many times as you need. To control all these grain parts together, select all the videos, right mouse button, nest footage. Set the blend mode to overlay one more time and control the intensity with the opacity. Dust and scratches. Follow the same steps as light leaks and grain, but set the blend mode to multiply or darken. Sound effects. 
go to Trailer Mega Toolkit, Sound Effects folder. And there we will have the Trailer Mega Toolkit Hits and Trailer Mega Toolkit Whooshes in both MP3 and WAV formats. I will import both of them. After the import, drag the file to source. Here you can preview the sounds. Select the sound you like by setting the in and out point markers and drag it on your sequence. That's pretty much it, stay tuned. New updates are coming soon. Check the After Effects version by the link in the description for more controls and flexibility. Thank you for choosing my template and don't forget to read the templates on the Downloads tab.